between her and the bus boy, right? But I don't say anything. I don't say anything. I just wait. All right, listen up. Before we get started, um, Arnie's out for a while. He's in jail. Oh, man. What happened? He attacked his wife. Man, you got to steer clear. I told him that over and over. He's probably feeling pretty isolated right now. We should go check on him. Make sure he's got some kind of adequate legal counsel. Oh, you know a good lawyer? I am a good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... Let's talk about this issue of uh, trying to escape the people that we tend to batter. You got to steer clear. Well, maybe that works for you, man, but I got kids. I want to see my kids. Oh, man, you beat your kids. I bet they're thrilled to see you coming through the door. But what the hell do you know about kids? What's the matter, Spider? You've been firing blanks? Is that why your wife's in the hospital? Well, you want to go again, right? Okay. It's enough. It's enough. Come on, we've been down this road before. Didn't go anywhere then, and it doesn't now. He's crazy. I tried to leave my wife a couple of times, but I always go back. <sighs> There's no escape. We form other relationships in order to find other women to batter. We carry this need with us. Come on, Paul, we need your input. You already got what you need. Speak up, boy, we can't hear you. What is it you think we need? Shoulders to cry on. How's that sound? Well, how about it, Dave? Don't keep us in suspense. Did you hit your wife last night or didn't you? Why don't you make us up a chart? What about Arnie? That maniac is exactly where he should be. Yeah? Well, maybe the two of y'all end up cellmates. <laughs> you told them? <laughs> of course I told them. No one's admitted to the program without the group's permission. No secrets here. We are what we are. Yeah, well, I don't know what the hell you are, but I got better things to do than sit around a bunch of guys and whine. Man, you're just like the rest of us. You ain't got no place else to go. I'm not like you. I got a family. Man, your family dumped you flat. That's not true. Because you ran before they had a chance. Leave my family out of this. Count it out. Oh, you know the drill. Yeah, yeah. Girlfriend dumped you, too. Shut up. One. What, you think I'm a woman? You want to hit me? Well, I hit back. Get out two, Paul. What are you Get out of my face. Boy. You're gonna hit it, you're gonna rock. Because you're pretty good at both, ain't you? Come on. Call timeout. It's your only option. Call timeout. Count it out. Paul, don't lose it. Paul, call timeout. It's okay, Paul. Come on. Listen to me, you still got time. You can do it, Paul. Come on. It's crap. Come on, Paul. Don't touch me. Come on, Paul, let us help you. I don't need help. I don't want your help. Leave me alone. Where you run and there's no coming back. Those are the rules.
This is a closed session. I want permission to come back. I know I broke the rules, but I figured you guys could change them if you want. Look, this has nothing to do with staying out of jail. I'm just trying to save what's left of my life. I started beating my wife just after we got married. After I left her, I beat another woman almost to death. I got scared the other night, that's why I ran. You were talking about me. I know the things I've done are despicable and inexcusable, except maybe to the people in this room. Please. Take me back. He supported us. He took care of us. It's not easy. Kicking your little ass all over the house isn't easy. What about mommy? Hey, maybe mommy liked it. My father loved us. He loved it. Everyone loves the power. No, he was raised that way. He didn't know any better. He knew exactly. Yeah, he was frightened. Everybody's frightened. It didn't happen that much. How much is that much? You don't want to remember. He blocked it out. No, he'd get drunk and he'd come home. That old excuse. Is that your excuse? No. No, his excuse is payback. Daddy did it to me, so I can do it to mine. I never thought that! You can handle it, Paul. Keep it together. Revenge is sweet, but not for Judy. Poor Judy. Hey, punch and Judy, get it? Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> that's not a joke. You think that's funny? You think Paul, you can... <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> that's good. You kept the lid on it. You all right? I can't imagine where he gets it from. Jeff was like that. An adult soul in a child's body. Yeah, look at him now. Cut it out. Come here. Jeff. Jeffrey. It's rude. I have a toast. Glasses, everyone. To Judy, who in a couple of days will be another year older. And next week will officially become what she's actually been all year. My new office manager. No. Well, I'm just grateful we're all here together. Jeff, where, where are you going? What do you think? I don't know what's wrong with him lately. He seems so angry all the time. Well, it's been a rough year. Lots of changes. I know. It's just that everything else has been going so well. I'm glad. <laughs> you're responsible. <laughs> no, you're responsible. You know, I think you're the first actual friend that I've had since I married Paul. He never told me I couldn't, but he organized all my time around himself. And plus, I was ashamed. It would have been harder to hide things from a friend. I'm proud to be your friend. You've got to give it time. Can I have some water, Tammy? You know, I wanted to be an actor. I took drama in high school because everybody said that it would be easy. Next thing I know, I'm liking it better than basketball. I wasn't good at either one, but... So that's the reason you started beating on your wife, self-pity. Give it a rest, man. Group's over. You know, I haven't seen the kids in over a year. Man. Hey, you ever think about going back with her? Nah. I don't need the grief. Was that bad? 
Hell no, it's great until I ruined it. What Conrad's always saying? It's right. The past is dead. What if all I wanted to do was just say I'm sorry, go to Judy and the kids and tell them I'm sorry? Why kick up a lot of dust? But look, you got your own mind. I can't speak for you. I knew that from the first time I saw you. You liked me? I thought you hated my guts. You still do. Well done, right? Medium rare. Not in my kitchen. There you go. Thanks. One thing I'd do, if you want to go and try to see him, I wouldn't tell him. I'd make it a surprise. At least that way you got a chance of getting through the front door. Something to think about. over to Shelly's for an hour. Hey, come on. Oh, thanks, honey. Uh, yeah, as long as it's only an hour, I have to go to the market later. Hey, homework first. I'll do it later. You'll do it now. And I want to see it when it's finished. Homework. How did you think that Judy and the kids were going to react to your just showing up at the doorstep? I didn't think until I was actually there. I would have scared the hell out of them. Do you remember why you left in the first place? To be with Beth. Now, give yourself some credit. You left because you were afraid of what you might do to them and yourself if you stayed. Some credit. I make their life a nightmare, and then I walk out the door when I can't take it anymore. Paul, behavior just doesn't come out of nowhere. I mean, ever since you've been a kid... My childhood is no excuse. I want to move on. Hey, but what, what we do here is almost an invitation to selfish behavior. I mean, we serve our own needs first in order to control our problems. I mean, we forget that the outside world doesn't know that we're trying to change. I want my family to know if they need anything at all from me, that I'm out there for them. Can you trust yourself with them completely? How do I know unless I try? Well, you have to know before you try, before you put the people that you love at risk. Who was it? Hello. You have a secret admirer. I doubt it. What? It's from your father. Why can't he just leave us be? Tammy. I did want to call you at work, and the dealership I'm now at isn't very far from here, so... 
What do you want? I'd like to see the kids. I don't know if they want to see you. They're my kids too, Jude, whatever happened. And the longer I wait to try, the harder it's going to get. I'll think about it. Thank you. How is work? Fine. Better. Yours? I'll call you about the kids. I know you've been wanting to see this movie. If you decide afterwards that you don't want to go to dinner, your father's agreed he'll bring you straight home. So... We can come home after the movie? Of course. You want to decide now? Jeff, straight home from the movie? Yeah. Okay, it's settled. I'll tell him as soon as he gets here. Well, why aren't you ready? I'm not going. Th that's up to you, but I thought we agreed that your father. I never agreed. And stop calling him that. He is not my father. I don't know why you want us to see him anyway. Especially you. S sit down. He's your father, whether you like it or not. Now, if you never want to see him again after today, I'll understand and I'll support you. But we have to stop rejecting him out of fear. I've spent a long time afraid to face things in my life, including him. But that's over. I'm not going to let him be the ghost in our closet. Mom, I'm not afraid of him. I just hate him. I'll be in my room. Jeff, that's for you. Thanks. Brutches. If Tammy's not coming, I'll, I'll give her her present. Oh, okay. Well, you don't have to open them now. Ready to go, guys? Uh, the, the kids would prefer to come straight home after the movie. Dinner can wait for another time. So whatever they want. Ready to go? Let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll bring them back about 5, 5.30. Is that all right? Have fun. Bye. started to cry, so I stopped the car. Next thing I knew, they're out the door. Let me talk to them. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's still too soon. I thought they were ready to handle it, but I was wrong. Just give me five minutes. If they still don't want to... No, come, I come. don't want you in the house. We'll talk about this another time. Please leave. Never do like that. Stop the crying. Stop. Tell him I'm sorry. Is he gone? Yes, yes, your dad's gone. Did he say anything to you? Did he do anything? I just got scared. I'm sorry. It's all right. Uh, some ideas for the program. Man, we sure got religion. She'll be here. She called you, right? She didn't tell me what it was about. Judy. Judy, this is Spider. Hi. Spider's in the program. Yeah, I had my fangs drawn a long time ago. I'll leave it to you. Coffee? Yeah, thank you. 
That's just his way. He's been a good friend, really, really helpful. Uh, I'm glad you called after the other day. I didn't, I didn't know. If... So what, what did you want to see me about? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. He never talks to me anymore. He's, he's withdrawn and moody and he goes into these sudden rages for no apparent reason. There you go. Thank you. I'm worried. He got into a fight with another kid at school today and according to the principal, he provoked it. I need help, Paul. I, I thought you might have some ideas. Because of my very own violent tendencies. No, because you're his father. Sorry, that just came out. Can you help? This fight might have something to do with the other day. Yeah, that occurred to me. It's tough enough to be Jeff's age without going through what he's been through, the stuff I've put him through. What do you think should be done? I'd like, if it's all right with you, I think it would be good if if he and I spent some time together, you know, I'd like to try to regain his trust. This is for him, Jude, not me. Okay. Thank you. Rita? Yeah. Oh, no, no. You okay? Yeah, thanks. I think I'd like to hear more about your program. Sure. So, in case any of you are wondering what kind of mysterious thing we do here three evenings a week, it's simple. We talk. We talk about ourselves, about each other, our past, our future, and our anger. Now, uh, a program like this has no traditions, but I hope today starts one. I give you the first graduating class of the quit program. Go ahead and clap. They worked hard. Now, before we tackle the food, which looks great, by the way, Spider, the group would like to make a statement as a group and have chosen one of their own to make it. Paul? Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. Wouldn't you know it, leave it to us to have a big fight about what we were going to say. Finally, it was left up to me, so um, I wrote a speech. But uh, my family's here today. Looking at them, I know what I have to say, and maybe it's what we all want to say. I used to think it was weakness to show my family that I love them. I think all of us up here have felt that or something similar. All of us suffered as children from fathers who were, well, who were a lot like we were not so long ago. And this program, this, this, this quit program was quite an experience. It was an experience that taught me, taught us, that with enough awareness and enough courage, we can break the cycle that has trapped us for so many generations. And I think we'd agree that the group has given us one great gift, and that's the knowledge that we can overcome ourselves. And that's basically all I want to say, except standing up here in front of my family, I can't tell you what that feels like that you'd come out and support me after all I've done to you. I, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Thank you. Thank you. You hate me? Sometimes. I never meant to hurt you. You meant to hurt mom. I was so stupid. I didn't get it until Tammy told me. You him. weren't stupid. Your mother and I tried to hide it from you. How could you hurt like that? It's complicated, Jeff. 
Yeah, right. But I will try my best to explain it to you, okay? First of all, you cannot blame your mother for any of what has happened. It was all me. I made her helpless. I had to be in control all the time because... because I was so scared all the time. discovered through this program that I had grown up to be just like my father. So I'm trying really hard, Jeff, to make it so you don't have to follow in those footsteps. Does that make sense to you? Sort of. changed. Do you want to bet mom's life on it? Not yet, but sometimes you're an idiot. What's two against one? The answer's no. What's two against one? Hyde and I think dad should be able to visit inside the house. Great. I'll just leave and come back when he's gone. Why can't you just forgive him? Because I'm not a stupid little kid. Tammy. Well, he is. Brought you back a salad. Thanks. Spending time with his father has been very good for Jeff. I know. Don't worry so much. You know, without you, I never would have made it this far. They make you jealous, so you have to hit them. That's how they know you love them. Well, some teenagers like to shoot up heroin. You think it's love to hand them a needle? That's different. No, it isn't. If you're here, be here to change. 
You know, you'd probably be better at this than I am. You want the lunatics running the asylum? No, no, I mean it. I mean, they really listen to you. I'm an amateur. You're the pro. No, my expertise comes from textbooks and lectures and field studies. Yours comes from living it. And that's got power. Why don't you think about running a satellite program for us? We need people like you. I don't know. Yeah. Give it some thought. had an emergency and I, I had to help her. She's my boss, but she's also my best friend. You never did have many friends, did you? No. I guess I didn't want you to. Well, I guess I went along with that. Remember we used to bring the kids here? What are we doing here, Paul? You said you wanted to talk to me without the kids. Here I am. Oh. Well, Things have been going pretty well lately between us and the kids, except for Tammy. And I just feel we've come a long way. The kids and I have come a long way on our own. This is the perfect place to... Yeah. But, you know, when we first started, I, I just wanted to make peace with you and the kids and try to make it up to you if I could. But, uh... Lately, I've been wondering, do you ever feel like maybe there's a possibility of us really getting back together as a family. I still love you, Judy. I mean, I mean it wouldn't have to be right away. I mean, it's something to work toward. I, I know it wouldn't be easy, but if... Wait, Judy? Hang on a second. Judy? Judy, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Honey, come here. Wait, tell me, tell me what I did. What you did? You abused me for 15 years. You made me weak. You made me a coward. You made me hate myself. And through all of it, I loved you. I made excuses for you. I, I kept our dirty little secrets so that everyone could go on believing what a great guy Paul Hegstrom was. I took the pain and the degradation, and, and I kept coming back for more. And, and then you, you walked out. You just walked out. What kind of a creature does that? What kind of a pathetic excuse for a human being? I know you want to come back. That's enough. Enough? What's the matter, Paul? Can't you take it, huh? Too rough for you? How about a little incentive, huh? How about after I've, after I've beaten you down to nothing and you're all bloody and bruised, maybe I'll take pity on you and I'll take you to bed. How does that sound? Sounds to me like the charity event of the year. Go back to you. I can hardly stand on look at you. Paul, you know the drill. Call timeout. What do you mean? You're gonna hit it, you're gonna run. Oh, call timeout. Hey, listen to me, you still got time. I have to go now. Mel, I just got back from seeing Judy. I asked her to get back together. It was a mistake. I feel like such an idiot. I shouldn't have tried. It was too soon. Paul, calm down. Now tell me what happened. She said no. She got angry, and then she started yelling at me. Started pushing me. Man, I, wanted to, I wanted to smash your face. To make her stop. She, would, Paul, she wouldn't stop pushing Paul, me. What happened? Nothing. I ran away. I started counting. I called time out. Couldn't deal with it. I just ran away. You didn't hit her? No. You didn't physically threaten her in any way? No. Call time out. Yeah. Well, Paul, that's not nothing. That's everything. I mean, you did it. I did it. I'm 
sorry for what I said. I guess I felt you deserved it. Oh, I did. I have something to say to you and the kids. Come inside. Tammy, please. She, she'll be okay. Come on. Jeff? Dad! Hey. Hi, Dad. Hi, buddy. Have a seat. I know I have no right to expect anything from any of you. What I, what I've done in the past, that's unforgivable. Earlier today, your mother said some things to me that I know she's wanted to say for a long time. She was afraid to say them because of what I might do to her. But you guys should be very proud of your mom because today she wasn't afraid. And I didn't do anything to her. I couldn't. I, I couldn't bear to hurt her any, any more than... I guess... I, I just want to say you guys don't have to be afraid of me anymore. Paul, would you like to sit down with us and have some hot chocolate? Yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> 